Okay, in today's video, I am going to show you how to calculate the power output of a crane as it lifts an object up into the air. And this is the situation we have. We have this tower crane, and it's going to lift a load of 1,200 kilograms, a vertical distance of 35 meters in 11 and a half seconds. And it's going to do that at a constant velocity, and we want to know what is the power output of the crane. Okay, power, you remember, power is simply work divided by time. Now, we are given the time, 11.5 seconds, but we're not given the amount of work. Now, we can break the work down into the force times the distance, because work is force times distance. We are not actually given the force, but we're given the mass. And we know when we lift something straight off the ground, if we know the mass, we can calculate or determine the force needed to lift that object up by multiplying it times the acceleration due to gravity. So that means that from work divided by time, we have force times distance divided by time. And for the force, we're going to take the mass and we're going to multiply it times the acceleration due to gravity and then multiply it by the di distance divided by the time, and that will give us the power output of the crane. Let's do that right now. The mass is 1,200 kilograms. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. The distance we're lifting the object is 35 meters, and the time is 11.5 seconds. If we multiply these three values, divide by the time, we get that the power output of that crane is approximately... 3,600 watts. It has a power output of 3,600 watts. Now, we might want to know what is that in horsepower. You'll remember that one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. We're going to convert from horsepower to watts. One horsepower, 746 watts. We take this value, multiply by one if you need to, divide by 746, and you get that the horsepower of that crane in the power output of that crane expressed in horsepower is 48 horsepower. Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you calculate the power output of a crane or a machine as it's lifting an object straight up into the air at a constant velocity. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you found that video helpful, please do all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.